Let's think about a really simple system, a particle moving through space. This particle has some amount of kinetic energy due to its motion, and it has potential energy if it interacts with stuff around it. We're going to calculate a quantity called the system's Lagrangian. It's just the kinetic energy minus the potential energy. The Lagrangian just serves the purpose of defining another quantity known as the action. The action is defined as this particular integral here. The equation looks complicated, but the action is just a scalar quantity. We can see that the value of s changes if we change the Lagrangian for our system, and the Lagrangian changes if our system has different kinetic and or potential energies. And these energies depend on the particle speed and position. Therefore, different values of s represent different trajectories that the particle can take. The trajectory that a particle actually ends up taking is the one for which the value of s is the smallest it possibly can be. 